Ace, Paul, Peter, Gene. It's been 18 years since the original four members of KISS laid down any new music. Now, the wait is over, and the circus is back in town. You're in the It's the world premiere broadcast of Psycho Circus, the brand new album from the original lineup of KISS. Put your right hand over your heart and pledge allegiance to Ace Frehley, Paul Stanley, Peter Chris, and Gene Simmons. And join us for the world premiere broadcast of Psycho Circus. Plus, information on how you can enter the KISS custom car sweepstakes. The show. Come on, dudes, let's crank it. <laughs> Five, Rocking four, roll. three, two. We have ignition. Welcome to the show. Ace Freely, Paul Stanley, Peter, Chris, right. Gene Simmons. Kiss, 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 kiss is back. The original four Kiss members are together again in makeup for a brand new album and world tour. Tonight from Los Angeles, it's the world premiere broadcast of Psycho Circus. Psycho Circus. Their first album together in 18 years. Hosted by Detroit Rock City's Doug Bodell of WRIF. You don't need a ticket for this circus, so welcome to the show. show well there you have the first recording that the four original kiss members have made in nearly 20 years welcome to the show and we say welcome to the show and welcome the kiss psycho circus world premiere broadcast from the album network and i'm dr detroit doug podell and it's good to have all four original members of kiss three that was three <laughs> in case anybody's <laughs> wondering we're not getting along very well <laughs> that was going to be one of my first questions uh, ace the but uh, ace fraley is here also paul stanley is not dead peter chris hey and, uh, well, Dr. Love himself, Gene Simmons, is here. Ralph Lipschitz III, please. <laughs> Very well. And, uh, well, welcome to the show, and welcome to the Album Network premiere of Psycho Circus. It's... You guys have got to be extremely happy. We've had a chance to hear some of the album. It's absolutely fantastic. You've had a chance to tour together. You've had a chance to, you know, live together a little while now. Uh, what made you decide, after all that, to go into the studio and record together? You know, the room was, the room grows silent. Well, you know, I don't think we've ever been asked that question. That's it's actually everybody a always great thinks question. it's money, but it's not What's money. It's really, you know, I mean, at this point, if it's not fun, then we wouldn't be doing it. You know, there, there's no faking what's going on in here. I mean, we're we're the we're the imbeciles that everybody thinks we are. We're, <laughs> you old you know, faker, you. <laughs> <laughs> we we're having a lot of fun. Otherwise, we'd exactly. stay home. Yeah. Peter today in rehearsals was telling me what nice legs I have, which <laughs> it's actually I, true. Which I is saw made I, me very suspect of him. I thought I knew him very well. I liked I, it better without the pumps, though. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm I'm in the back <laughs> watching him. <laughs> After a while, he's not noticing things about each other. We you didn't we, notice a long time ago. We it. spent. Oh, boy, your legs are looking. We've good. been together longer than most people have been alive. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've been together now something like 27, 28 years, God. and. Uh, one way or the other, you know, the family's been together, then the family split, then the yeah. family got back together again. I think we're older, we're wiser. And we're older. And, you know, we're, you know what it is? It's like very few people get one chance at success, much less two. This is our third time up at bat, you know. First time up, became the kings of the mountain. Last tour was the number one grossing mm, tour. Yeah, absolutely. And here we go again. So we're we're very, very appreciative of each other, and that's not, you know, we don't want to get too cornball about it, but... You know, you can see us touching each other. You <laughs> love me. Just, just tell them the truth. You know, we, we never... I actually do. I mean, we really wouldn't have done the reunion tour if we didn't think that we could live up to it and surpass our history. We'll live you know, together. The, 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 well. the strangest thing for us is having such a big past 
means that we have to get out of the shadow of our biggest competition, which is us. So same thing with Psycho Circus. We never would have gone in and attempted a new album if we didn't know that we could live up to what we'd done before. And it's in the grooves, man. Mm -hmm. Well, I know that uh, KISS fans all across the nation are happy. KISS history is being made once again, and KISS is back. And we are certainly excited about all of that, I can tell you for sure. Now, we're going to be back with more of the original four members of KISS and the world premiere of Psycho Circus. Plus, we have information on how to enter the KISS custom car sweepstakes hey. it's it's not enough to have action figures and trading cards and everything else you have to have your own custom car now right so we're going to give you a chance to win that and all of that will happen after these messages right here on the album network it's psycho circus time the world premiere broadcast of psycho circus by kiss will continue after these messages it's the original four members of KISS. KISS is back. Ace Freely, Paul Stanley, Peter Chris, Gene Simmons, and the world premiere broadcast of Psycho Circus. This is the Album Network. We are back with the KISS Psycho Circus world premiere broadcast from the Album Network. And greetings to all the KISS fans listening to us all across North America. I'm Doug Podell with Ace, Peter, Paul, and Gene, and all new music which is really great to be able to say, from Psycho Circus out in stores this Tuesday. Now, you have always had, it's been part of the KISS history, the big stage shows. But uh, this one, we understand, is going to be bigger than ever. Well, if we go out on tour... How's that? Isn't that mysterious? <laughs> if we were to go out on tour, we would go out with a, a spectacular well, show that would leave the last show in the dust. I, if we were to go out on tour. Right. Okay. Now, I had previously heard that you flirted with the idea. Of men. Back during, <laughs> back of during the of Destroyer men. era. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Now stop it. We don't want to start any of those rumors. Well, Paul, Paul was offering, once he found out you were calling yourself Dr. Detroit, he was offering to turn sideways and call. Uh, you Paul, hit a good button there. Paul, after the show. <laughs> but during the Destroyer While era, you're down there. did you not, Gene, did you not uh, have an idea for a circus back then? No, I, I, wanted, I want to set it straight. We already said it at Metal Edge, so it must be true. Okay. No, yeah, the, right. The whole, <laughs> the whole idea really started between conversations that we had with, uh, you know, lots of people, and sp specifically a guy named Doc McGee, who has big ideas. The guy will not stop talking. <laughs> and uh, one day he was talking about, wouldn't it be great? You know, that's always a sort of modus operandi. Uh-oh. Doc is, Doc is actually a big it's, word. It's actually like... It's like stream of consciousness. You let Doc go, and it's like a seance. This voice comes out, and he rattles off all these things that he would like to see happen, and most of them are as crazy as the stuff we come up with. And he was, uh, you know, he was responsible for, you know, a good part of the idea that became the seed of the this this new show that we we would do if we were going to go on tour. If, if we were going to go on tour. Well, okay. So we're not going to really reveal the fact, but there have been some rumors at a couple of big shows. I've are heard coming that. up. I've heard that. And yes. they're rumors only. And if they were going to happen, they would probably happen in the cities who think they're going to happen. If they were going to happen. What, what have you heard? What, what, uh, we're also well, we've heard of 3D. What too. do you know? <laughs> what do you well, you're just throwing them all out there now, Ace. Well, I mean, if it was going to happen. What do you know? What do you want to tell us? I well, think you have to tell him. He knows will, where you live. We will reveal what have those you secrets heard? coming up later in the broadcast. Oh, okay. Stay I'm interested. tuned. Well, coming up next, we're going to play another song from Psycho Circus. A great song that I think is actually a song that you guys more than likely did for the fans. And that is, you wanted the best, you've got the best. That ending, by the way, is uh, not planned. Is that right? <laughs> you wanted the best, you've got the best. It's Psycho Circus. We're here on the Album Network with all four members of KISS, and this one, Gene, well, we were talking about it, it features all four of you on vocals, and that is a first. Actually, the lyrics uh, really came from a lot of the, the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the interviews we've done in the past during the 80s, you know, weren't too kind to each other. We'd all, 
you know, like any family that breaks up, we'd say stuff about each other out of anger, out of pain, and all that stuff. So a lot of those uh, magazine articles were the basis of the lyric. You know, some of the stuff, in fact, we wind up singing. So it's the first time the entire band sings together. Each Everybody takes a line. So it's the first time yeah. we've all four sung together on a song. It really sounds to me like a song that could come right out of your intro that you do when you do tour and uh, and just open up the show with and have each member right there and just and I can just envision the crowd just going absolutely crazy for this If we one. tour, you never know. If this would tour. be a great opening song. Uh, have Doc mark that one down. I, he will. <laughs> <laughs> well, with this song and with the possibility of a tour coming up, there are many rumors out there on the Internet, obviously. You've had to have known about them. They're talking about a Halloween show, a New Year's Eve show in my hometown of the Motor City. And they're also talking about, and this is the one that I heard that I thought was great, that the tickets are going to be 3D glasses. And when you come in, you put the glasses on, and somehow the band is wearing costumes that are transformed into 3D. You know, that's amazing because that is 100% wrong <laughs> <laughs> well that's um, why you're here to explain no, you know, all these details i'm making part you know half a joke because the amazing thing is if you you log on and you check the internet 95 percent of what you read there is pure fantasy it's either people's hopes of of what they would like to see um when we had barely started the album there was song titles being listed songs that we never heard of um you know, people have a great time on the internet, but um, I think it's more recreational than anything else. Um, I He's think... being kind. We actually have much stronger feelings <laughs> yeah. about the internet. Well, or about the informa other. informational internet sort of exchanges, that's fine. Mm -hmm. When people have nothing to do with their lives and spend a lot of time in front of the internet typewriters, <laughs> uh, you know, it's... It's kind of, you know, it's grandma it's, gossip. Well, it's time. very reactionary. And Immediate people, reactionary. Usually Everybody, starting with the word bull. Well, it's That's, also everybody gets a chance to be a star because nobody else is there to give them the hook and pull them off stage. Well, is it true, the 3D aspect of the show in any form or regard? Because, you know, I, have, I would have to say that you have always taken risks and you've taken big risks for the fans. Let, and, and, it, and it seems like that's part of KISS's nature, to go out and do big, elaborate things that no other band would do. And it, it wouldn't surprise us, let's just put it that we're gonna way. We're going to have a, a big press conference on the 21st of the month. Okay. Where we're really going to be talking about everything in detail. Where's that going to happen? And that's going to happen uh, in Los Angeles. I at at uh, maybe. I'm, I'm watching somebody go, that's right, you can say that. You know, we are just puppets in here, folks. Someone is in there pulling Pull the, the string. Pull, yeah. the string. Pull the string. We are having a press conference in Hollywood at Man's Chinese Theater. And that's all I'm going to tell you, except we're going to tell you everything that you wanted to, to ask tonight that we may not be able to answer. <clears throat> There's there. a lot to talk about. And uh, if we were to tell you about the possible tour... <laughs> or all kinds of other things that could be possible, it would make it anticlimactic. So. Well, we we are here to celebrate the release of the new Psycho Circus. I know that if a tour were to follow, it would be monstrous. tremendous, and it's going to be monstrous, yeah. and it's going to be outrageous. I mean, safe and to I'm, say, and we're all looking forward. Yeah, I mean, to, safe uh, to say that anything we do at this point has to top what we've done before, and that's going to be tough. And, and that's what we would do. Yeah. All right. Well, let's play another song from this great new album, Psycho Circus. And uh, this one written by Ace, Mr. Ace Fraley, back in the band. A lot of people are extremely happy about that. Uh, let's check this Including one out. Including myself. Very good. It's called Into the Void, and it's brand new Kiss from Psycho Circus on the Album Network World Premiere. <laughs> We are back with KISS on the album network premiere of Psycho Circus, and we're with Paul and Gene and Peter and Ace, who wrote that one right there, Into the Void. And Ace, this I certainly... By the way, I wasn't the only writer on that. It was also uh, my okay. old bass player, Carl Cochran. Very good. Well, Carl the Cock Cochran, but, you know, we don't... Yeah. <laughs> All right. Great well, guy. Uh, you do get a chance to stretch out a little bit more on this album, though. Do you not, Ace, compared to the early days? Uh... Yes and no. Yes and no. 
Everybody's waiting. <laughs> what does like, that mean? This, like, well, this is a profound statement. Yes. No, you know, I, I think this album shows growth. It shows... Uh, right here. I think this... Did you see what he just pointed to? <laughs> <laughs> no, this album, I think, is, is everything that the KISS fans expected and wanted and more. Right. Well, it's it certainly is m much more produced than the early days. Is it not, Gene? No. <laughs> it certainly sounds bigger. Yes, it sounds the... What we did was we tried to make a KISS record Kiss that was more fidelic. It looks bigger. That was more fidelic. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, but okay. it's basically us going in there with guitars, and that's it. There I are mean, no synthesizers and no boys' choirs, although we have no problem with <laughs> any of that. <laughs> well, I think well, we have to get rid of the boys' choirs because, <laughs> you know, what happened much. last time. No. I think what we're really privileged to here is the fact that KISS went in with the same attitude that they did in the 70s, yes. but <clears> with, <throat> with the year 2000 technology. What we era. really wanted to do was not make a retro album, mm -hmm. but retain what we had, had really gotten on tour, which was that magic chemistry again, and use Destroyer as really the the standard that we had to meet. We didn't want to make just an album where we strapped on the guitars and uh, just went in and played. What made Destroyer such a great album was that we tried to push the limits of what we did and still stay true to the band. Okay. So that's basically what Psycho Circus is all about. Peter, did it help that you actually got to start out by touring first, being together, practicing together, working out, and then after all of that excitement sort of wore off and the tour wore off that you were able to go into the studio then as opposed to, you know, reversal? For me, yeah. yeah. I mean, I as a drummer, I need a lot more to get exactly. to, to really to get all to get mm -hmm. the whole sort of big picture. To get the feel back. Yeah. So I mean, we got to know each other after seventeen years we were away from each other. Getting back together is probably the best thing that happened to me. I, I love hanging out with the guys again, so we we've fallen in love again, <laughs> kind of say. So yeah, I mean, he just gave me a ring last week, I'm... and Paul got me a watch. So we're all in love. <laughs> you know, I can't I can't bitch about it. it no, yeah, it, it, the tour was really a, a bonding thing for yes. us. And for Peter's me, hoping for rough sex. <laughs> <laughs> I am actually. So yeah, yeah, it did help absolutely. Let's get to the next song on the album. <laughs> it's from Psycho Circus. It's the world premiere broadcast from Album Network, and it's I pledge allegiance to the state of rock and roll. Yes. Stand up. have it another another great song from the psycho circus album i pledge allegiance to rock and roll testifying to the the power of the almighty music there's no doubt about it I, i'm going to tell you when i first heard just a portion of this album the first thing i saw it is is that you could go out on tour do this album by itself live walk off stage and every kiss fan would be happy about it the songs are that powerful you know that good, really, and it really is a tribute to the uh, the amount of time and, and obviously effort that you put into this one. It really is. I love you, man. It really is good. <laughs> Thank oh. you. The checks in the mail. <laughs> On top of the new album and the hopefully upcoming tour, a custom Kiss car is currently being built, and so we'll, we can escape in, Doc, in Doc's basement. We're building it. <laughs> Oh, I thought it would be for Doc's, sure in the Motor City, uh, right Doc's there off the assembly line. It's a little secret place Doc has in his basement. <laughs> well, it's, it's going to be given away to a lucky KISS fan. Now, you'll have between September 22nd, which is the in-store date of Psycho Circus, and December 1st to enter the KISS, the KISS <laughs> Custom Car Sweepstakes. And here's the information on what to do, and then we're going to come back with more of this great Psycho Circus world premiere broadcast. Don't you dare go anywhere. KISS is building a unique, one-of-a-kind custom sports car with more bells, whistles, lights, and sound than you could possibly imagine. And they want you to have it. To enter the KISS Custom Car Sweepstakes, call 1-900-CALL-KISS. That's 1-900-225-5547 between September 22nd and December 1st, 1998. Each call is $1.99, and you may call and enter as many times as you wish. For KISS fans residing in Louisiana, Minnesota, New Jersey, and Georgia, you can only enter the KISS Custom Car Sweepstakes by sending your name and address on a 3x5 card to KISS. Post Office Box 466, Parsippany, New Jersey, 07054-046. 
6. Entries must be postmarked by December 1st. The sweepstakes is open to U.S. residents only 18 years of age or older and is also void where prohibited. Sweepstakes rules can be obtained by sending a self-addressed stamped envelope to the address previously given. The KISS Custom Car Sweepstakes begins September 22nd. Call 1-900-CALL-KISS. 1-900-225-5547 to enter. Each call is $1.99. More to come from the Psycho Circus with Ace, Paul, Peter, and Gene. It's Kiss on the Album Network. Shout it out loud. Kiss. Rock and roll! Psycho Circus. Ace Freely, Paul Stanley, Peter Chris, Gene Simmons. The original four Kiss members are on the radio for the world premiere broadcast of Psycho Circus. Welcome back to the show. You're listening to the KISS Psycho Circus world premiere broadcast right here from the Album Network. And I am officially Dr. Detroit tonight, Doug Podell, along with Ace and Paul and Peter and Gene and the world premiere broadcast of Psycho Circus. And uh, we were just talking about the custom car giveaway. Why don't we talk a little bit about that? Why don't you guys tell me just what goes into a custom KISS car? And You know, anything we do is not going to be subtle. So... You know, when you put the pedal to the metal in this car, you know, you you better be ready for the ride of your life. Better be ready to burn. It's Of course, it's black and silver, black and chrome. All right. I don't know what the, the final horsepower on 450, it is. 450, I hear. Is it, is it up? Yeah, it's, it's around there. And uh, besides it being a, a, an awesome two-seater convertible, oh. it also has a, a trailer hitched up to the back of it that has a built-in stereo system oh, and built-in amplifiers. It comes with a Gene Simmons Punisher bass, an Ace Frehley custom Les Paul that fits in it, and a Paul Stanley Washburn PS2000 guitars. They all fit in the back. You have a jack in the dashboard so you can plug your guitar in. And uh, We might even stick the, a Paul, uh, Peter Chris snare drum there. there, is, there is there one? There's a drum machine. No, there's a drum machine. There, there you go. A drum, drum machine. machine. Yeah. I figured that. Was I got my little sure, drum you machine. you can jam right along. It's it's awesome. What else can we tell you about? You can it? you can uh, step on the brake pedal and kiss, the kiss uh, light comes on instead of stop. Okay. You mean the kiss logo that I designed? The kiss logo that Ace designed, <laughs> and that for and the that, tail lights. No, no, I mean right on the dashboard. So when you're looking to see, you know, your stop, go, and all that stuff. You know, the, the thing about the car though is that uh, there will be a series of car, kiss cars that are going to be coming out in '99, but the first one we wanted to give away for free. And so this thing is a one of a kind, you know. It's uh, the coolest of the cool. It's awesome. Sounds like a great lyric. It's, it's really like a hot rod. You can enter the Kiss Custom Car Sweepstakes beginning September twenty second. Now you can call the one nine hundred call Kiss number. It's one nine hundred. 225-5547. That's 1-900-225-5547. Now, it's $1.99 per call. But for those states where 900 numbers are illegal, you can enter the sweepstakes by sending your name and address on a 3x5 card, and you send it off to KISS, P.O. Box 466, Parsippany, New Jersey. Is that correct? That's correct. You would know or that. Or you can hack into Sprint. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's uh, Parsippany, New Jersey, 07 054-0466 and you must be 18 years or older to participate. Now, also... Well, here's an important uh, okay, point I'm sure good. you were about to mention. All right. Which is that the more times you call, the better your chances are of winning. Because we can pick up... We're going to pick up the phone or that, that one mm -hmm. lucky person at any point. So if you're just entering once, that's fine. It's your call. If you want to enter a lot of times... The more times, the better. There you go. You're allowed, right, Gene? You're That's right, Gene. You <laughs> Gene, Gene's Gene saying uh, it's yeah, Gene's gonna, Three o'clock in the morning, Gene's going to be dialing <laughs> yeah. 900 all night, all night long. long. Now, those clocks. now, each copy of Psycho Circus will also have, I understand, an instant sweepstakes card. And by calling the 900 call kiss, That's right. you yeah, not only register cool. for the custom car sweepstakes, but you also find out about... Uh, other items and whether or not you're an instant winner for one of the variety of KISS-related prizes, ranging from T-shirts to autographed guitars to a trip, it says right here, to the possible New Year's Eve concert in Detroit. There you go. You know, you know, we really did this for a reason. Some people say, why are you doing this kind of thing? When we first started making albums, we always, great, we always tried to put like all kinds of like great... Um, Things that became collector's items. We had yes. the love gun. You know, we had tattoos. 
since we're dealing now with CDs where you really can't put cool stuff in anymore, we figured what's the best way that we can give everybody a chance to get something really cool. And it's, it's you know, the, the, the little coupons and all this other stuff that you can win by getting Psycho Circus at a store near you. Well, you've always had the incredible merchandising. You have become maybe one of the most collected bands of all time. Hated, too. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. We're actually as proud of our uh, enemies as we are of our friends. We're proud to be the only band... The alternative to all alternatives, the band that's not afraid to do anything, because anybody that's afraid of stuff that wants to hold on to their credibility are really cowards because they're afraid of really having fun. The one thing we've always sworn to ourselves is we're going to do whatever tickles our fancy, no matter what. That's so if great. people think it's no credibility, we're proud of it. No, I don't, I don't believe that. <laughs> I think people are really looking for this kind of excitement when it comes to rock and roll. And you have delivered on so many aspects of it with... Uh, the trading cars and the association with McFarlane, you bet. Uh, Todd McFarlane, and uh, the comic books. Those Psycho Circus circus. comic books are the coolest. Oh, and and selling off the shelves, you can't find them. You know, and everything that you have has become a collector's item. We try to do everything the best we can and give it our best. I think people know that when the makeup goes on, the gloves come off. You know, that's when we go into action. And, uh, you know, when we get ready, it's not... Face paint, it's war paint. That's right. Well, let's uh, let's get some more action going God, on this good. album. Let's listen to more from Psycho Circus, the album network premiere, and this one is called Within. Psycho Circus is out this Tuesday, September 22nd, and our world premiere broadcast will continue. Welcome to the show! Here to entertain you at the Psycho Circus, Ace Freely, Ross Stanley, Peter Chris, Gene Simmons. Welcome back to the world premiere broadcast on the Album Network. It's the KISS Psycho Circus world premiere broadcast, and we are back here live in Los Angeles with all original four members of KISS, and it's great to say that. It's great to have you all here. Thank you. Now, I just got the word, really, that you got married during the recording of this album. Is that right, Don't tell his wife. (laughs) (laughs) Congratulations. He did. We're we're talking about Peter. Congratulations, Peter. Talking about Peter, yes. Yes. Uh, Yeah, I I got married. I got married May 3rd to a Jersey girl named Gigi. And uh, I haven't seen my house yet, but I have one there. And because we had to start rehearsals right away. So yeah, I got married, thank you. It's actually just was Doc's birthday. So I'd like to say happy birthday to Doc. Uh, oh. Because he just had a birthday, so. Uh. Well, congratulations to Doc as well. And congratulations to all of you for, uh, you know, just pulling this thing back together. Actually, Peter's wife's like right, right over there. Everybody's Peter. wondering where. She's the one with the, her clothes <laughs> off. Close your eyes, <laughs> folks. <laughs> she's, uh, she's just freaked out. Peter, you stayed fairly active, though, with recording and doing some things, but you've got to be happy to be back doing. D- they've made you out to be the romantic of the band, always doing the ballads, but you did recently uh, just do this ballad, and if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> Mr. Paul, Stanley wrote it for Paul, me. Paul helped you out on that yes, one? Yes, he did. And I think that was really cool because uh, they didn't take my ballad. <laughs> No, it, it's it's well. Beth is still one of the most played Kiss songs. Yeah, it is. I think I think it was great that Paul, you know, thought like you know where I'm coming from, really where I'm at, and it meant a lot. So you know, when he played it for me in his car, he said, you know, I really wrote this with you in mind because, and I had something similar. And it was the same guideline, same storyline, and I was touched. I really thought that was pretty cool of him to think of me. And to really write a ballad strictly with me in mind, yeah, meant, I, I got into that. I really sang. Uh, it was great singing it. It was really a, another experience for me. Well, let's give it a listen. It's called "I Finally Found My Way," and it's from Psycho Circus, the Album Network world premiere broadcast. To you, baby. We are back with. Kiss, the world premiere of Psycho Circus. Congratulations on that one, Peter. Nice job. Thank and you. you as well, Thank Paul, you. for uh, for an excellent job of writing that one. Well, you know, I have a Kleenex? Peter's, yeah, <laughs> Peter's like such a great singer for those kind of songs that to not have him singing a ballad on the album, it wouldn't have been the Kiss album. You know, right. After Beth, you know, that really set 
you know, the precedent for what Peter could do in terms of that kind of song. And we were really determined to make sure that there was a song on here that, that he really got a chance to shine on. We're going to be coming back with more of the Psycho Circus album. If you haven't heard the info on how to enter the KISS Custom Car Sweepstakes, though, it's coming up next, and then we're coming back with more of the world premiere broadcast. Psycho Circus with KISS. Stay right there. KISS is building a unique, one-of-a-kind custom sports car with more bells, whistles, lights, and sound than you could possibly imagine. And they want you to have it. To enter the KISS Custom Car Sweepstakes, call 1-900-CALL-KISS. That's 1-900-225-5547 between September 22nd and December 1st, 1998. Each call is $1.99 and you may call and enter as many times as you wish. For KISS fans residing in Louisiana, Minnesota, New Jersey, and Georgia, you can only enter the KISS Custom Car Sweepstakes by sending your name and address on a 3x5 card to KISS. Post Office Box 466, Parsippany, New Jersey, 07054-046. Six. Entries must be postmarked by December 1st. The sweepstakes is open to U.S. residents only 18 years of age or older and is also void where prohibited. Sweepstakes rules can be obtained by sending a self-addressed stamped envelope to the address previously given. The KISS Custom Car Sweepstakes begins September 22nd. Call 1-900-CALL-KISS. 1-900-225-5547 to enter. Each call is $1.99. Psycho Circus, you're encouraged to feed the animals. Stay tuned for more on the album network. This is back. In case you haven't heard, the original four members of KISS are together again, and this is the world premiere broadcast of their new album, Psycho Circus. It's the KISS Psycho Circus world premiere broadcast, and I'm Doug Podell, and we are here to officially unveil the music of Psycho Circus to the legions of KISS fans all across America. And uh, one thing that we definitely want to talk about, because I flew in all the way from Detroit, and everyone's already talking about it, and that's this movie. Detroit Rock City. Can you tell me a little bit about it? I have to turn to my right for a second, look through the glass. A little bit. All it's right. much bigger than that. Oh, talk a little bit about it. Okay, I got it. No, that's what she said last night. That's right. <laughs> there, There is a purported movie, perhaps, called Detroit Rock City that possibly New Line Cinema just started filming, I mm. think. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's actually going to be the cool movie everybody's been waiting for and takes place in Detroit. And that's as much as you'll know about it more on Monday when we do our press It'll conference. be a little bigger budget than the Phantom film, though, we can expect Yeah, no, that. it's, it's going to be legitimate, and we're very proud of it. Yeah. Well, I know everyone in Detroit who has any knowledge about it is pretty excited about it already. So, um, You know, that was the time. We're New York guys. You know, we grew up on the streets of New York, but it was really Detroit who gave us, you know, that first big shot. We headlined there before anywhere else, yep. big time. And that city's always been about music, you know, whether it's uh, Motown and, and, and to Nugent, to Seeger and all that. It's always been a very cool city. Well, I'll tell you one thing. KISS fans all across this nation Terrible. are raising their glasses, and they are thanking the fact that you are all back. Let's get to it from Psycho Circus. This is Raise Your Glasses. Come on, dude! your right hand over your heart and repeat after me i pledge allegiance to kiss and to the state of rock and roll we're a bunch of party animals we ain't leaving till we're heathen <laughs> very good children now back to kiss on the album network it's the world premiere broadcast of psycho circus and we are here in our los angeles studios with all four members of kiss and i want to talk about the fact that you have you have got beyond touring beyond recording beyond all the merchandising beyond the custom car how do you find time now to launch your own internet 
provider service. And you got to tell me a little bit about this because I'm a big nut on the internet. Ace, you want to do that? <laughs> we pay this. people to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, obviously, and there's going to be some return, I would imagine, on that dollar. Is there not, Ace? Yeah, I mean, you know, we we got to you, you pay people to run an internet service for you. I would imagine. That I'm not going to sit behind the desk and answer the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Well, being, being one of the bands that probably has more websites on the Internet than anything imaginable out there, and that's, it's time to take it over, right? right? All right, let me, no, but seriously, you know, you'll be able to order merchandise through the Internet. Mm -hmm. You'll probably be able to upload, download, up, well, upload. Yeah, but you can do that on a you'll website now. Things. This is a full Internet yeah, well, provider. You'll, you'll be able to you'll see things, to hear things. You'll be able to, like, you know, fingers. like morphs and stuff that I do or pull. But there's more. My yes. question really is, though, are you going to make it better? Of course. Of I mean, course. we don't do anything unless we can do it better than anybody else. All right. And we're big, big fans of everybody who has KISS websites. However, they're limited in what they can do based upon, guess what? They're not KISS. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's the same thing that happened with KISS conventions. Um, it started as a great idea, and then some people jumped on the bandwagon for the money. But nobody could do a KISS convention the way KISS could. The reason we got into the website was really because... We know there's a lot of things that the fans would like to see and be a part of that you really don't get access to, even through the, the most avid and rabid fans. So we're going to be the, the all-purpose provider. Now the technology is there. Are we going to be able to uh, get access right from the CD? That's right. Yeah. That's, because there, well, there have, have been... A modem, a there's a screensaver even, yeah. right? Here's, here's well, the, that would be great. Here's the idea. The Psycho Circus CD is going to be your ticket, your entranceway into another world. You take the CD, you'll be able to play the music on your CD, but you'll also be able to take the CD... Put it in your ROM. Put it into your ROM for instant access to the KISS website. There you go. And... Can you put it anywhere else? As long as you have a, <laughs> as long as you have a modem. Well, I wouldn't... You know, where can you put it? Everywhere, right? You can put it anywhere you can find an opening. <laughs> if you're online right now... What would be the address that we could that we could access it? That's a good question to ask, and the answer to that one is I believe it was kissonline. Of course, dot com That's or right. dot net. Dot net. Kissonline. Kiss dot, 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 dot net. Kissonline. Yeah. Dot net. We wanted something that All was going word. to be Original, simple, right. memorable, and to the point. Right. Kiss. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Kissonline.net. Kiss 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 yeah. I'm just kidding because I know all about this I stuff. I know you do. I'm trying to be... I'm try <laughs> I know you do. I'm trying to be like... <laughs> I'm trying you to be likable. He's like, oh, I wish, I know I wish, you know. I wish everybody thing. would just lighten up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this has been like a journey. For, oh, no. for me. <laughs> but what I you, know. What is this, Siddhartha? <laughs> but I know it's like a journey of 1,000 years. Let's check it out. It's another track from Psycho Circus. Oh, damn. Backwards. <laughs> little backwards Smell tracking. Wow. wow. That really is wow. a musical journey for Kiss. I love, that, I love that one uh, roll that Peter does where he goes. Yeah. There and you I'm go. doing the toggle switch stuff. I <laughs> love that. <laughs> All right. Journey of 1,000 Years from Psycho Circus, the album network premiere of the Psycho Circus album from Kiss. And I have to tell you, it has been a real privilege and a tremendous privilege. I, I'll just say a tremendous time for all KISS fans to be able to have you all here together. Uh, still living. And, and, and <laughs> talking about a new recording. And still talking. And still period. Talking. Well, still living. You know, this is the start of something really big. And when something feels good, it only She's gets outside. bigger. That's right. So <laughs> well, we play thank, with us and we get bigger. We want to thank Ace and Peter. And Paul and Gene for being here and for Thank playing you. the album Sphere Fan. Yeah, right. Psycho Circus, by the way, is going to be in the stores this Tuesday, September 22nd. Also, on that day, you can start entering the KISS Custom Car Sweepstakes. And this is really cool. By calling the 900 number, 1-900-CALL-KISS. It's $1.99 per call. And as Gene said, you can enter as many times as you like. So that should be great. And, uh, you know, it's it's got to still, though be fun for you guys. I don't think you'd be doing it if it wasn't, but 
but how long do you really want to keep all this going? I don't as think, long as it's fun. As long as it's you fun. Know, yeah. when it's as long touched. as we get together and laugh like this, we can keep doing it. And as long as we can turn out the kind of music that we have on Psycho Circus, and as long as we can do the kind of shows that people saw on the reunion tour, there's no reason to stop because it just keeps getting better. Yeah, I said from the beginning, it's really a respect thing. And if we don't have that for each other, I'm out of here. I, you know, I'm having a great time with the guys. We laugh all day long. and It's a consistent, great time for me. I mean, I look forward to going to rehearsal. I used to hate to rehearse. Mm-hmm. And, and every day there's a new adventure in that room or a new, somebody's coming in with something else and the jokes don't stop. We laugh more now than we ever did. So and that's us. good for me. I think laughter is a good thing. And I love these guys. Isn't that so heartfelt? I mean, you know, because I'm the Italian that guy. Pretty much, <laughs> that pretty much does sum the it Italian all up. Italian guys it? love everybody. Unbelievable! It's great having you mm. here. It's great having you back. And on behalf of all Kiss fans from all over the world, congratulations Thank on you. the Thank new you. Psycho Thank Circus. You. Thank you. We Doug. wouldn't let you down. Our pleasure. The world premiere broadcast special of KISS Psycho Circus was engineered by Conrad Pignon with creative production and editing by Steve Nelson. Additional production by Mike Madrigal. Special thanks to Doc McGee, Sandy Rizzo, and Melissa Madden of McGee Entertainment. To Steve Ellis, Brian McAvoy, and Andrea Weiss of Mercury Records. To Steve Tumay and the staff of L.A. Studios. To Neil Bird, Maria Musatif, Regina Livesay, Beth Arzi, Michael Davis, and Jim Villanueva of the Broadcast Department. And to Steve Saslow of SJS Entertainment. Tonight's show was produced by Mark Felsot, associate producer John Valenzuela, and the executive producers are Gary Bird, Steve Smith, and Tommy Nast. This has been an exclusive presentation of the Album Network, an SFX Entertainment Company, copyright 1998, all rights reserved. And I say welcome to the show. And I want to talk about the fact that you have you have got beyond touring, beyond recording, beyond all the merchandising, beyond the custom car. How do you find time now to launch your own Internet provider service? And you got to tell me a little bit about this because I'm a big nut on the Internet. Ace, you want to do that? <laughs> we pay people to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, obviously, and there's going to be some return, I would imagine, on that dollar. Is there not, Ace? Yeah, I mean, you know, we we got to you, you pay people to run an internet service for you. I would imagine. That I'm not going to sit behind the desk and answer the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Well, being being one of the bands that probably has more websites on the internet than anything imaginable out there, and that's it's time to take it over, right? All right, right, no, but seriously, you know, you'll be able to order merchandise through the internet. Mm -hmm. You'll probably be able to upload, download, up, well, upload. Yeah, but you can do that on a website now. This is a full internet provider. You'll be able to see things, hear things. You'll be able to like, you know, like morphs and stuff that I do or Paul. But there's more. My question really is, though, are you going to make it better? Of course. I mean, okay. we don't do anything unless we can do it better than anybody else. All right. And we're big, big fans of everybody who has KISS websites. However, they're limited in what they can do based upon, guess what? They're not KISS. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's the same thing that happened with KISS conventions. Um, it started as a great idea, and then some people jumped on the bandwagon for the money. But nobody could do a KISS convention the way KISS could. The reason we got into the website was really because... We know there's a lot of things that the fans would like to see and be a part of that you really don't get access to, even through the, the most avid and rabid fans. So we're going to be the, the all-purpose provider. Now the technology is there. Are we going to be able to uh, get access right from the CD? That's right. Yeah. That's, because there, well, there have, have been... A modem, a there's a screensaver even, yeah. right? Here's, here's well, the, that would be great. Here's the idea. The Psycho Circus CD is going to be your ticket, your entranceway into another world. You take the CD, you'll be able to play the music on your CD, but you'll also be able to take the CD... Put it in your ROM. Put it into your ROM for instant access to the KISS website. There you go. And... Can you put it anywhere else? As long as you have a, <laughs> as long as you have a modem. Well, I wouldn't... You know, where can you put it? Everywhere, right? You can put it anywhere you can find an opening. <laughs> if you're online right now... What would be the address that we could that we could access it? That's a good question to ask, and the answer to that one is 
I believe it was kissonline. Of course. Dot com. That's or right. dot net. Dot net. Kissonline.net. Kissonline.net. We wanted something that All was going word. to be Original, simple, right. memorable, and to the point. Right. Kiss. What did you say? Echo <laughs> Circus. It's the world premiere broadcast from Album Network, and it's I Pledge Allegiance to the State of Rock and Roll. Stand up. have it another another great song from the psycho circus album i pledge allegiance to rock and roll testifying to the the power of the almighty music there's no doubt about it I, i'm going to tell you when i first heard just a portion of this album the first thing i saw it is is that you could go out on tour do this album by itself live walk off stage and every kiss fan would be happy about it the songs are that powerful you know that good, really, and it really is a tribute to the uh, the amount of time and and obviously effort that you put into this one. It really is. I love you, man. It really is good. <laughs> Thank oh. you. The checks in the mail. <laughs> On top of the new album and the hopefully upcoming tour, a custom Kiss car is currently being built, and so we'll, we can escape in, Do <laughs> in Doc's basement. We're building it. <laughs> Oh, I thought it would be for Doc's, sure in the Motor City, uh, right Doc's there off the assembly line. It's a little secret place Doc has in his <laughs> well, basement. Well, it's, it's going to be given away to a lucky KISS fan. Now, you'll have between September 22nd, which is the in-store date of Psycho Circus, and December 1st to enter the KISS, the KISS <laughs> Custom Car Sweepstakes. And here's the information on what to do, and then we're going to come back with more of this great Psycho Circus world premiere broadcast. Don't you dare go anywhere. KISS is building a unique, one-of-a-kind custom sports car with more bells, whistles, lights, and sound than you could possibly imagine. And they want you to have it. To enter the KISS Custom Car Sweepstakes, call 1-900-CALL-KISS. That's 1-900-225-5547 between September 22nd and December 1st, 1998. Each call is $1.99, and you may call and enter as many times as you wish. For KISS fans residing in Louisiana, Minnesota, New Jersey, and Georgia, you can only enter the KISS Custom Car Sweepstakes by sending your name and address on a 3x5 card to KISS. Post Office Box 466, Parsippany, New Jersey, 07054-046. Entries must be postmarked by December 1st. The sweepstakes is open to U.S. residents only 18 years of age or older and is also void where prohibited. Sweepstakes rules can be obtained by sending a self-addressed stamped envelope to the address previously given. The KISS Custom Car Sweepstakes begins September 22nd. Call 1-900-CALL-KISS. 1-900-225-5547 to enter. Each call is $1.99. More to come from the Psycho Circus with Ace, Paul, Peter, and Gene. It's Kiss on the album that... Possibly New Line Cinema just started filming, I think. Mm hmm And uh, it's actually going to be the cool movie everybody's been waiting for and takes place in Detroit. And that's as much as you'll know about it. More on Monday when we do our press It'll conference. be a little bigger budget than the Phantom film, though, we can expect Yeah, no, that. it's, it's going to be legitimate, and we're very proud of it. Yeah. Well, I know everyone in Detroit who has any knowledge about it is pretty excited about it already. So, um, You know, that was the time. We're New York guys. You know, we grew up on the streets of New York, but it was really Detroit who gave us, you know, that first big shot. We headlined there before anywhere else, yep. big time. And that city's always been about music, you know, whether it's uh, Motown and, and, and to Nugent, to Seeger and all that. It's always been a very cool city. Well, I'll tell you one thing. KISS fans all across this nation terrible. are raising their glasses, and they are thanking the fact that you are all back. Let's get to it. From Psycho Circus, this is Raise Your Glasses. Come on, dudes. Let's crank it. Put your right hand over your heart and repeat after me. I pledge allegiance to KISS and to the state of rock and roll. We're a bunch of party animals. We ain't leaving till we're heathen. <laughs> Very good, children. Now, back to KISS on the Album Network.
It's the world premiere broadcast of Psycho Circus, and we are here in our Los Angeles studios with all four members of KISS. And I want to talk about the fact that you have you have got beyond touring, beyond recording, beyond all the merchandising, beyond the custom car. How do you find time now to launch your own internet provider service and you got to tell me a little bit about this because i'm a big nut on the internet Ace, you want to do that <laughs> we pay Ace. people to do it <laughs> <laughs> well obviously and there's going to be some return i would imagine on that dollar is there not ace yeah, I mean, you know, we we got to you, you pay people to run an internet service for you. I would imagine that. I'm not going to sit behind the desk and answer the phone. <laughs> <laughs> well, being being one of the bands that probably has more websites on the internet than anything imaginable out there. And that's it's see, time to take it over, wait, right? All right, let me, no, but seriously, you know, you'll be able to order merchandise through the internet. Mm-hmm. You'll probably be able to upload, download, up well, upload. Yeah, but you can do that on a you'll website now. Things. This is a full internet yeah, well, provider you'll, you'll be able to you'll see things hear things you'll be able to like you know fingers. like morphs and stuff that i do or paul but there's more my yes. question really is though are you gonna rock city's doug bodell of wrif you don't need a ticket for this circus so welcome to the show show well there you have the first recording that the four original kiss members have made in nearly 20 years welcome to the show and we say welcome to the show and welcome the kiss psycho circus world premiere broadcast from the album network and i'm dr detroit doug podell and it's good to have all four original members of kiss three that was three (laughs) in case anybody's wondering we're not getting along very well (laughs) that was going to be one of my first questions but uh, ace fraley is here also paul stanley is not dead peter chris hey and, uh, well, Dr. Love himself, Gene Simmons, is here. Ralph Lipschitz III, please. <laughs> Very well. And, uh, well, welcome to the show, and welcome to the Album Network premiere of Psycho Circus. It's... You guys have got to be extremely happy. We've had a chance to hear some of the album. It's absolutely fantastic. You've had a chance to tour together. You've had a chance to, you know, live together a little while now. Uh, what made you decide, after all that, to go into the studio and record together? You know, the room was, the room grows silent. Well, you know, I don't think we've ever been asked that question. That's it's actually everybody always great thinks question. it's money, but it's not What's money. It's stuff? really, you know, I mean, at this point, if it's not fun, then we wouldn't be doing it. You know, there, there's no faking what's going on in here. I mean, we're we're the we're the imbeciles that everybody thinks we are. We're, <laughs> you old you know, faker, you. <laughs> <laughs> we we're having a lot of fun. Otherwise, we'd exactly. stay home. Yeah. Peter today in rehearsals was telling me what nice legs I have, which <laughs> it's actually true. Which I is made I, me very suspect of him. I thought I knew him very well. I liked but it I, better without the pumps, though. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm I'm in the back <laughs> watching him. <laughs> After a while, he's not noticing things about each other. We you didn't we, notice a long time ago. That's we spent. Boy, your legs are looking. We've been together longer than most people have been alive. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we've been together now something like 27, 28 years, yeah. and. Uh, one way or the other, you know, the family's been together, then the family split, then the yeah. family got back together again. I think we're older, we're wiser. And we're older. And, you know, we're, you know what it is? It's like very few people get one chance at success, much less two. This is our third time up at bat, you know. First time up, became the Kings of the Mountain. Last tour was the number one grossing mm, tour. Absolutely. And here we go again. So we're we're very, very appreciative of each other, and that's not, you know, we don't want to get too cornball about it, but... You know, you can see us touching each other. You love me. Just tell off. them the truth. You know, we, we never... I actually do. I mean, we really wouldn't have done the reunion tour if we didn't think that we could live up to it and surpass our history. We'll live you know, the, 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 well. the strangest thing for us is having such a big past means that we have to get out of the shadow of our biggest competition. From the tour wore off that you were able to go into the studio then, as opposed to, you know, reversal? For me, yeah. yeah. I mean, I as a drummer, I need a lot more... To get exactly. to, to really to get all to get mm-hmm. the whole sort of big picture to get the feel back. Yeah. So I mean, we got to know each other after 17 years. We were away from each other. Getting back together is probably the best thing that happened to me. I, I love hanging out with the guys again. So we we've fallen in love again, <laughs> kind of say. So yeah, I mean, he just gave me a ring last week, I'm... and Paul got me a watch. So we're all in love. <laughs> you know, 
I can't. I can't bitch about it. it, it no, yeah, it, it, the tour was really a, a bo- bonding thing for yes. us. And for Peter's me. hoping for rough sex. <laughs> <laughs> I am actually. So yeah, yeah, it did help absolutely. Let's get to the next song on the album. It's from Psycho Circus. It's the world premiere broadcast from Album Network, and it's I pledge allegiance to the state of rock and roll. Stand up. Yes. There you have it, another another great song from the Psycho Circus album, I Pledge Allegiance to Rock and Roll. Testifying to the, the power of the almighty music. There's no doubt about it. I, I'm going to tell you, when I first heard just a portion of this album, the first thing I saw it is, is that you could go out on tour, do this album by itself live, walk off stage, and every Kiss fan would be happy about it. The songs are that powerful. You know, that good, really. And it really is a tribute to the uh, the amount of time and, and obviously effort that you put into this one. It really is. I love you, man. It really is good. <laughs> Thank oh. you. The check's in the mail. <laughs> On top of the new album and the hopefully upcoming tour, a custom Kiss car is currently being built. And so we'll we can be- escape. In, Doc, in Doc's basement, we're building it. <laughs> oh, I thought it would be for Doc's, sure in the Motor City, uh, right Doc's there off the assembly line. It's a little secret place Doc has in his well, basement. Well, it's, it's going to be given away to a lucky KISS fan. Now, you'll have between September 22nd, which is the in-store date of Psycho Circus, and December 1st to enter the KISS the KISS Custom Car Sweepstakes. And here's the information on what to do, and then we're going to come back with more of this great Psycho Circus world premiere broadcast. Don't you dare go anywhere. KISS is building a unique, one-of-a-kind custom sports car with more bells, whistles, lights, and sound than you could possibly imagine. And they want you to have it. To enter the KISS Custom Car Sweepstakes, call 1-900-CALL-KISS. That's 1-900-225-5547 between September 22nd and December 1st, 1998. Each call is $1.99, and you may call and enter as... came collector's items. We had yes. the love gun. You know, we had tattoos. Since we're dealing now with CDs where you really can't put cool stuff in anymore, we figured, what's the best way that we can give everybody a chance to get something really cool? And it's, it's you know, the, the, the little coupons and all this other stuff that you can win by getting Psycho Circus at a store near you. Well, you've always had the incredible merchandising. You have become maybe one of the most collected bands of all time. Hated, too. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. We're actually as proud of our uh, enemies as we are of our friends. We're proud to be the only band the alternative to all alternatives, the band that's not afraid to do anything because anybody that's afraid of stuff that wants to hold on to their credibility are really cowards because they're afraid of really having fun. The one thing we've always sworn to ourselves is we're going to do whatever tickles our fancy, no matter what. That's so if great. people think it's no credibility, we're proud of it. No, I don't, I don't believe that. <clears throat> I think people are really looking for this kind of excitement when it comes to rock and roll. And you have delivered on so many aspects of it with... Uh, the trading cars and the association with McFarlane, you bet. Uh, Todd McFarlane, and uh, the comic books. Those Psycho Circus curtains. comic books are the coolest. Oh, and and selling off the shelves, you can't find them. You know, and try- everything that you have has become a collector's item. We try to do everything the best we can and give it our best. I think people know that when the makeup goes on, the gloves come off. You know, that's when we go into action. And, uh, you know, when we get ready, it's not face paint it's war paint that's right well let's uh, let's get some more action going God, on this good. album let's listen to more from psycho circus the album network premiere and this one is called within Psycho Circus is out this Tuesday, September 22nd, and our world premiere broadcast will continue. Welcome to the show. Here to entertain you at the Psycho Circus, Ace Freely, Paul Stanley, Peter Chris, Gene Simmons. Welcome back to the world premiere broadcast on the Album Network. It's the KISS Psycho Circus world premiere broadcast, and we are back here live in Los Angeles with all original four members of KISS, and it's great to say that. It's great to have you all here. Thank you. Now, 
I just got the word, really, that you got married during the recording of this album. Is that right, Don't Peter? tell his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> he you. did. Thank well, you. We're, yeah. ta- we're talking about Congratulations, Peter. Congratulations, Talking Peter. about Peter, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, I got, I got married. I got married May 3rd to a Jersey girl named Gigi. And uh, I haven't seen my house yet, but I have one there. And because we had to start rehearsals right away, so yeah, I got married. Thank you. And yes. there are rumors on me. And if they were going to happen, they would probably happen in the cities who think they're going to happen. If they were going to happen. What, what have you heard? What? What? Uh, we're also well, we've heard of, 3D. What too. do you know? <laughs> what do you, well, you're just throwing them all out there now, Ace. Well, I mean, if it was going to happen. What do you know? What do you want to tell us? I well, think you have to tell him. He knows will, where you live. We will reveal what have those you secrets heard? coming up later in the broadcast. Okay, I'm Stay interested. tuned. Well, coming up next, we're going to play another song from Psycho Circus. A great song that I think is actually a song that you guys more than likely did for the fans. And that is, you wanted the best, you've got the best. That ending, by the way, was uh, not planned. Is that right? (laughs) You wanted the best, you've got the best. It's Psycho Circus. We're here on the Album Network with all four members of KISS. And this one, Gene, well, we were talking about it. It features all four of you on vocals, and that is a first. Actually, the lyrics uh, really came from... A lot of the, the magaz- Bible. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the interviews we've done in the past during the '80s, you know, weren't too kind to each other. We'd all, you know, like any family that breaks up, we'd say stuff about each other, out of anger, out of pain, and all that stuff. So a lot of those uh, magazine articles were the basis of the lyric. You know, some of the stuff, in fact, we wind up singing. So it's the first time the entire band sings together. Each everybody takes a line. So it's the first time we've all four sung together on a song. It really sounds to me like a song that could come right out of your intro that you do when you do tour and uh, and just open up the show with and have each member right there and just and I can just envision the crowd just going absolutely crazy for this. If we tour, you never know. This would be a great opening song. Uh, Have Doc mark that one down. He will. (laughs) Well, with this song. And with the possibility of a tour coming up, there are many rumors out there on the Internet. Obviously, you've had to have known about them. They're talking about a Halloween show, a New Year's Eve show in my hometown of the Motor City. And they're also talking about, and this is the one that I heard that I thought was great, that the tickets are going to be 3D glasses. And when you come in, you put the glasses on, and somehow the band is wearing costumes that are transformed into 3D. You know, that's amazing, because that is 100% wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's um, why you're here to explain no, you know, all these details. I'm making part, you know, half a joke, because the amazing thing is if you, you log on and you check the Internet, 95% of what you read there is pure fantasy. It's either people's hopes of, of what they would like to see. Um, when we had barely started the album, there was... Out of your intro that you do when you do tour and uh, and just open up the show with and have each member right there and just and I can just envision the crowd just going absolutely crazy for this If we one. tour you never know. If this would tour. be a great opening song. Uh, have Doc mark that one down. He will. <laughs> well with this song and with the possibility of a tour coming up There are many rumors out there on the Internet, obviously. You've had to have known about them. They're talking about a Halloween show, a New Year's Eve show in my hometown of the Motor City. And they're also talking about, and this is the one that I heard that I thought was great, that the tickets are going to be 3D glasses. And when you come in, you put the glasses on, and somehow the band is wearing costumes that are transformed into 3D. You know, that's amazing because that is 100% wrong (laughs) well that's Um, why you're here to explain all these details i'm making part you know half a joke because the amazing thing is if you you log on and you check the internet 95 percent of what you read there is pure fantasy it's either people's hopes of of what they would like to see um when we had barely started the album there was song titles being listed songs that we never heard of um You know, people have a great time on the Internet, but um, I think it's more recreational than anything else. Um, He's being kind. We actually have much stronger feelings about the Internet. 
Well, or about the informa- informational internet sort of exchanges, that's fine. Mm-hmm. When people have nothing to do with their lives and spend a lot of time in front of the internet typewriters, <laughs> uh, you know, it's... It's kind of, you know, it's grandma it's, gossip. Well, it's time. very reactionary. And Immediate people, reaction. Usually everybody, starting with the word bull. Well, it's That's, also everybody gets a chance to be a star because nobody else is there to give them the hook and pull them off stage. Well, is it true, the 3D aspect of the show in any form or regard? Because, you know, I, have, I would have to say that you have always taken risks and you've taken big risks for the fans. Let, and and it and it seems like that's part of Kiss's nature to go out and do big elaborate things that no other band would do, and it it wouldn't surprise us. Let's just put it. that We're going to have a, a big press conference on the twenty first of the month. Okay, where we're really going to be talking about everything in detail. What's that going to happen? And that's going to happen uh, in Los Angeles. I at at uh, maybe. I'm, I'm watching somebody go. That's right. You can say that. You know, we are just puppets in here, folks. Someone is in there pulling Pull the, the strings. String. Pull, yeah. the string. Pull the string. We are having a press conference in Hollywood at Man's Chinese Theater, and that's all I'm going to tell you. Except we're going to tell you everything that you wanted to to ask tonight that we may not be able to answer. <clears throat> There's there. a lot to talk about, and uh, if we were to tell you about the possible. The alternative to all alternatives, the band that's not afraid to do anything, because anybody that's afraid of stuff that wants to hold on to their credibility are really cowards because they're afraid of really having fun. The one thing we've always sworn to ourselves is we're going to do whatever tickles our fancy, no matter what. That's so if great. people think it's no credibility, we're proud of it. No, I don't I don't believe that. <laughs> I think people are really looking for this kind of excitement when it comes to rock and roll. And you have delivered on so many aspects of it with... Uh, the trading cars and the association with McFarlane, you bet. Uh, Todd McFarlane, and uh, the comic books. Those Psycho Circus versions. comic books are the coolest. Oh, and and selling off the shelves, you can't find them. You know, and try- everything that you have has become a collector's item. We try to do everything the best we can and give it our best. I think people know that when the makeup goes on, the gloves come off. You know, that's when we go into action. And, uh, you know, when we get ready, it's not face paint it's war paint that's right well let's uh, let's get some more action going God, on I'm this good. album let's listen to more from psycho circus the album network premiere and this one is called within Psycho Circus is out this Tuesday, September 22nd, and our world premiere broadcast will continue. Welcome to the show. Here to entertain you at the Psycho Circus, Ace Freely, Paul Stanley, Peter Chris, Gene Simmons. Welcome back to the world premiere broadcast on the Album Network. It's the KISS Psycho Circus world premiere broadcast, and we are back here live in Los Angeles with all original four members of KISS, and it's great to say that. It's great to have you all here. Thank you. Now, I just got the word, really, that you got married during the recording of this album. Is that right, Don't tell his wife. (laughs) (laughs) Congratulations. He did. Thank you. We're we're talking about Peter. Congratulations, Peter. Talking about Peter, yes. Yes. Uh, Yeah, I I got married. I got married May 3rd to a Jersey girl named Gigi. And uh, I haven't seen my house yet, but I have one there. And because we had to start rehearsals right away. So yeah, I got married, thank you. It's actually just was Doc's birthday. So I'd like to say happy birthday to Doc. Uh, oh. Because he just had a birthday, so. Uh. Well, congratulations to Doc as well. And congratulations right. to all of you thank for, you. Uh, you know, just pulling this thing back together. Actually, Peter's wife, like right, right over there. Everybody's Peter. wondering, where? She's the one with her clothes off. Close your eyes, folks. <laughs> She's, uh, she's just freaked out. Peter, you stayed fairly active, though, with recording and doing some things, but you've got to be happy to be back doing... D- they've made you out to be the romantic of the band, always doing the ballads, but you did recently uh, just do this ballad, and if I'm not mistaken... Mr. Paul, Stanley wrote it. 